Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, sorry if you hear my cat um, crying. <sighs> he wants to be in this room um, all the time, but he's not allowed. Um, so before we start, we're going to watch a trailer for a game that I'm going to be um, watching. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be playing. Uh, hopefully we'll get early my access. She sings like morning My sister true She laughs like noon My sister cries She drowns this evening But still visits by the light of the moon We pray for summer We pray To prosper, to love, to forgive And our prayers came back Like a little lost lamb Dying so that we may Oh yeah. Hey Joe. Yeah, we're going to be playing that game, hopefully, because there's early access, and I'm hoping to get into it, um, um, get into early access once it gets going, yeah, April 18th, and I'm hoping we'll get accepted. If we get accepted, I'm going to be super, super, super excited. Um, so I've put myself on the wish list on Steam, and I'm hoping to get in there, because we'll play that on day one. Um, it's done by Moon Studios. They also did Ori, which everyone here seems to really like Ori. Um, <clears throat> oh, virus threats. Um, what is all of this? Jeez, Windows update. Uh, restart required. Oh, jeez, pending restart. I don't want to restart. Sorry, pals. We can do that another day. Um, so, what I'm going to do is, yeah, we're going to do, well, where did Steam go? We're going to do some Elden Ring. We're going to continue on from where we left off. Hey Aquarius, what's up? Ooh, I thought maybe we can go over the, um, you know what, let's do that real quick. Yeah, let's actually not do Elden Ring just yet. Let's have a good little look. I posted the video for the, um, you know what, we're gonna close that, close window. We're gonna close that real quick and we're gonna go check out um, the YouTube video for the Catwoman that comes out tomorrow. I'm, I'm very curious. I'm thinking, um, yeah, I'm thinking about um, purchasing this tomorrow. I think it goes, um, oh, he's probably talking about it right now. Let's see. No, remind me later. Don't care. Um, no, I don't want any of this. God. Okay, let's check this out. And we're going to put it on the some HD so we can all watch it together before we start doing our thing. Oh yeah, look at that 4K. Whew. We'll let that load for a minute. <clears throat> I'll let that load for a second. If it'll load. We're going to watch this together before we start playing. But I'm so excited about this statue from J&D. They have some other pieces that are pretty impressive as well um, that um, I have wanted. 
but they're too expensive. They're so, like this one could be an exception. Yeah, they did such a good job with this uh, statue. And you know, it's silicone, so the whole face is super soft. Yeah, that shit's crazy. Yeah, you can get the two pair with like her, Selena Kyle, and then the Catwoman in the suit. I'm only gonna get the suit. Yeah, the duo is like $3,400 <laughs> for the two of them. It's crazy. You already know that j &D Studios wants to share the values of great movies, great movie characters, and great movie statues with the most ardent of fans. We started 2023 with the Undying so Arwen, year. the legendary Korean film Old oh Boy Odessu, and the original superhero Christopher Reeves' Superman, helping our collectors to revisit these classic films. And today, I present to you another unforgettable character from a classic. One of the most infamous villains from DC, Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman from Batman Returns. Yeah, I have no interest in the hero movie. I just want the cat suit. I'm not spending $3,400 on a statue. I'm not spending $3,400 on a statue. I'm not spending $3,400 on a statue. 배경이 되는 고담시의 연출 등은 오히려 원작만에서도 다시 영향을 줄 정도로 인상적이었고요. 영화의 다양한 캐릭터들 중에서 배트맨보다도 먼저 우리를 사로잡은 캐릭터는 배트맨 리턴즈의 미셸 파이퍼가 yeah, 연기했던 캐드먼이었습니다. 이전에 제작했던 다크 나이트에 나온 앤 헤서웨이의 캐드먼과는 다르게 배트맨 리턴즈에서는 평범한 해상원이었던 셀리나 파일이 캐드먼으로 거듭나는 극적인 연출을 작품에 담아내고 싶었고요. 그래서 저희는 셀리나와 캐드먼 두 캐릭터를 모두 제작하기로 결정했습니다. 사실 캐드먼뿐만 아니라 누구나 다양한 면을 갖고 있듯이 저희는 이번 yeah, 작품을 like 통해서 looks, looks 사람의 like 복잡하고 다양한 내면까지 담아내려고 최선을 다했습니다. J&D에서 나오는 듀오는 단순히 피규어가 두 개라는 것 이상의 의미를 갖고 있어요. 아마 많은 분들이 히어로 영화를 보면서 평범했던 주인공이 드디어 yeah, 히어로가 됐을 때 느꼈던 카타르시스를 겪었습니다. 그건 히어로가 되기 전에 주인공의 이야기 전개가 나오기 때문에 더 극대화되는 부분이죠. Yeah, J&D의 듀오는 미학적으로는 두 개의 서로 see, 다른 개성 있는 피규어를 like 즐긴다라는 부분도 있지만 a, um, 다른 한편으로는 피규어의 전과 like 후를 보여줌으로써 just, 그 간극에서 오는 매력을 전달해 주기도 하죠. 영화에서는 이야기를 통해서 전해졌던 그 I 매력을 피규어에서는 듀오셋이라는 두 캐릭터의 보이지 않는 간극으로 전달해 줍니다. 그래서 여러분들이 영화 전체를 다시 보지 않아도 J&D의 듀오셋을 통해서 영화의 감상을 쉽게 체감할 수 있게 되듯이요. 하지만 이 모든 건 싱글 버전의 yeah, 완성도를 완벽하게... I pause it. Like, look at that shit. Look at the, uh, the eyebrow hair. So evidently they must have sewn eyebrow hair into the silicone as well. The pores that are all right here. You can see she's like, it looks like makeup on the skin. This eyeshadow... So there's another version, which is the Prime 1 version. Uh, that was thought to be like the best of the best. Um, and it's like 1300, I think. Uh, and this one's 1900. Uh, it's pretty much 2000. Um, and then with shipping, it'll be like $2,200. That's how much this piece will cost. But um, the Prime One version, everybody thought couldn't be beat. And they thought there's no way. But like looking at that right there is, uh, is crazy. Like that face right there is just nuts. That looks just like Michelle Pfeiffer. And um, the eyelashes are all punched in, so their actual hair. It's just crazy. Um, 
Oh my God, poor EG crying and shame, poor baby. You're not coming in here. You're allergic to hay. Yeah, so, yeah. 하게 가다듬은 뒤에 시작되는 부분입니다. 그래서 만약 히어로 본연의 매력에 집중하고 싶다면 싱글 버전 역시 충분히 매력적인 선택이 됩니다. They should they should fix that. Her hips are too wide. They're not proportioned to where Michelle Pfeiffer was in 1992. 미셸 파이퍼의 캐드먼은 클래식한 인기 캐릭터죠. 그만큼 많은 유저들의 바람이 있었을 거라고 생각해요. 매번 작업할 때마다 고민하고 최우선으로 여기는 부분이 바로 라이크니스인데요. 레퍼런스가 되는 자료들도 실제 배우의 모습도 조건에 따라 다양하기 때문에 모두를 만족시키는 일은 쉽지 않은 것 같아요. 그럼에도 최대한 많은 분들이 공감할 수 있도록 노력했고 좋은 답을 얻어낸 것 같습니다. 미셸 파이퍼의 다크한 쇼핑일을 yeah, I mean, 담아내는 게 중요하다고 생각했어요. 가진 조용에서도 그런 매력이 기대가 되도록 yeah. 이전 작업들에서의 노하우를 더해 개인 기만의 매력적인 바디를 만들 수 있었어요. 질감의 다양함도 yeah, 제대로 phenomenal. 표현하고 싶었고 이 부분 최고 실력자인 김다일 작가와의 협업으로 만족스러운 결과가 나온 것 같습니다. 헤드먼의 시그니처 요소 중 하나인 발톱도 실제 영화 소품처럼 보이도록 각 파츠를 분할하고 별도로 이어붙이는 디테일을 더했어요. 또 다른 시그니처인 고양이는 세밀한 털 요소와 실제 유리 방구를 눈에 넣어서 세세한 디테일을 재현했습니다. 미셸 파이퍼의 헤드먼을 잘 아시는 분들은 물론이고 처음 보시는 분들의 마음에도 생동감이 온전히 닿을 수 있으면 좋겠습니다. I'll be, um, I'll definitely 네, be 먼저 세계 최고의 time. 피규어를 만들고 계시는 JND 스튜디오와 또그 아티스트 분들의 이 행보에 저도 여러 번의 노크를 통해서 드디어 작게나마 일축을 담당할 수 있게 되었다라는 점에 있어서 정말 영광으로 생각을 합니다. JND 스튜디오는 사실 창립 이전부터 제가 주목을 해왔던 회사이기도 한데요. 다른 yeah, 것보다 여러분들 JND에 대해서 갖고 계신 여러 가지 생각들 중에서 다른 건 필요 없습니다. JND가 만들어내는 프로토타입 그리고 여러분들이 실제로 받게 될 실제 제품 이두 가지의 차이 퀄리티에 대한 걱정을 하지 않아도 된다는 것만으로도 제인들은 yeah, 독보적인 필요 회사라고 말씀드릴 수 있겠습니다. I don't care about 그리고 오늘은 제가 캐드먼 미셸 파이퍼의 캐드먼을 실제로 Now, the penguin, 보다 the 보다 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 제 눈으로 먼저 보게 That's 되는 그런 like, 회사를 가지고 uh... 있기도 한데요. Yeah. 여러분들도 영상을 보시면서 아마 The Danny DeVito Penguin that looks real like that would be crazy. Oh man, with like all the slime coming out of his mouth, would be just so fucking badass. Fuck Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot's a stupid bitch. 이 제품은 정말 반드시 있어야 되는 must have 아이템이다. 말씀드릴 수 있겠습니다. 자신 있게. 제인디 스튜디오가 갖고 있는 강점에 대해서 말씀을 드리자면요. 이미 캐릭터에 대한 잘못, 마이크미스에 대한 것은 I will be purchasing it. 지켜주고 있는 부분이 있습니다만 거기에 대해서 터치 바이 JND라는 부분이 있겠다 말씀드리겠습니다. I mean, I don't like the idea of that punched in hair either. I don't want to put it in a glass case because the dust is going to get on that hair. Yeah. 이런 분들도 사실은 그분들의 공식 오피셜 굿즈, 오피셜 사진, 오피셜 포스터 이런 것들이 나올 때는 좀더 실제보다 멋지고 이쁘게 또 다듬어지는 그런 과정들을 거치게 됩니다. 이와 비슷하게 JND도 실제로 존재하는 배우 캐릭터를 JND가 만짐으로써 더더욱 완벽하게 also, like, 캐릭터 본래에 대해서 right. 배가 시키는 것과 되고 있다. 있다. 그런 바로 그 점이 JND 지역의 가진 장점이라고 생각합니다. 여러분, 영상 잘 보셨습니까? 정말 끝내주지 않나요? 우리가 매번 프로젝트마다 여러분들께 전하고 싶은 메시지는 이 영상처럼 늘 동일합니다. Badass. JND 스튜디오는 언제나 최선을 다할 것이다. 그리고 그 최선의 결과가 여러분들께 만족에 이르기를 늘 바라고 있다. 그것이 바로 JND 스튜디오가 이 일을 하고 있는 진짜 이유입니다. 항상 새로운 무언가를 시작할 때마다 우리는 더 나은 결과를 바라면서 이 일을 합니다. 하지만 그것보다 더 중요한 것을 요즘 제가 생각하는데요. 그것은 우리가 지금까지 만들어 놓은 현재에 대한 평가를 우리는 잊지 않아야 된다는 점이에요. 정말 더더 더 나아지고 싶다는 것은 이미 우리가 나아졌다 해서 출발하는 것이 아닐까요? 
콜렉터 분들께서도 yeah, 이런 관점에서 저희 awesome. JNB 스튜디오를 바라봐 주시면 정말 정말 좋겠다는 생각입니다. 개인적으로 좋아하는 영국의 속담이 있는데요. No pain, no gain. Like 우리는 snow. 여러분들의 snow 사랑을 얻기 cool. 위해서 오늘도 매 순간 엄청나게 힘든 길을 걷고 있지만 그 길의 끝에 저와 여러분들 모두 함께 JND 스튜디오만이 만들 수 있는 그 멋진 결과들을 즐길 마음의 준비가 필요하지 않을까요? So 그 마음의 준비가 되셨습니까? 우리가 어떻게 확인할 수 있죠? 딱한 가지 방법이 있죠. 그 마음 그대로 다 같이 외쳐보겠습니다. Let's JND i c e When you go through these, can I scroll through here? I should be able to move pretty. Oh, I wish I could scroll through with HD. Like that right there, even on our temple, you can see the vein that's like right here, and there's a vein that runs down. That's uh, Michelle Pfeiffer when she was in that suit, because the suit was so tight that she couldn't hear. There was no ear holes. And she said it was so tight that her veins would pop out in her temple. Just incredible. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really care too much for it. I don't like the human hair. And you can't do it with sculpted hair. It looks weird with sculpted hair. So it's cool, but you would have to put it in a glass case. I just, I don't care about the glass case, but like that right there, whew. And you can sell these for so much money after one. I mean, like, if this sells now for $1,900, you could easily sell this piece in the aftermarket for probably like six, seven grand. Easy, because there won't be any more of them. And these pe people go nuts for shit like this. And I don't think anybody's going to top this for a long time. Yeah, that shit's sick. So sick. So sick. And then these people. Um, there's people that are like, we're really... Because I'll show you the Prime 1. Um, let's see, the Prime 1 Catwoman. We'll get to Elden Ring in a minute. Uh, yeah, if you look at this version, and it's great. It's really good. And if you if you go through it, we'll watch this person's video. Why not? Welcome back. This is the Prime Time 1. Oh. Yeah, so this is the Prime 1 version of it, which is expensive. Welcome. They only made so many of them. And um, let's see if we can get a higher quality. Oh, any HD. Back to the back cave, everybody. So you could only get this in a limited amount of like, I think they only had like 300, uh, like max. But everything about this piece bothered me. I had it on, I almost had it on pre-order and then I turned it down. I said no. Um, and it was, it was because of one specific thing at the time. I even had it on a wait list recently and I canceled it because I just didn't want it. Um, get out of the way, dude. Just set up the dance statue. Okay. So the base actually has a light up feature, which is really cool of the hello there. Uh, but I already have someone bought me. I think it might have been you, Joe, that bought me one off of my Amazon wish list for the hello there. Um, that's the button in front of her foot. Um, but there's something about the piece. It looks like she's floating. And now look, collectors love this piece. They've been foaming at the mouth about this piece for like six months. And this is also when she's uh, battle damaged. Like you can see the string hanging off her, her outfit slowly coming apart, you know. Um... And it's like real string on there, yeah, yeah, all this stuff. But when you get up to like the the body and the the plastic, um, the her bodysuit is too shiny. So like this stuff is too shiny. And even though people, even though people um, talk about like how her outfit's so you know shiny and reflective and all that stuff, in the film, if you actually go side by side shots, it's really not that reflective. Yeah, it looks like plastic. See? Um, and the face on this is incredible. Like, there's no doubt. And it's fully sculpted. It's not silicone like the other one. Um, so it's a, um, it's a solid piece. Come on, zoom in there. Shit. My God. Dude, get your fucking picture to zoom in. My God. This guy's out of focus the whole time. It's pissing me off. You're focused on the background, dude. 
Okay, let's look. Oh, this is the Batman Collector. Okay. Yeah, this dude's pretty popular in the community. I comment on some of his stuff. He kind of drives me a little bonkers, but he's cool. Um, <laughs> he's always... Yeah, yeah. So if you look at her suit, like, see how shiny... He's got an insane collection. The Batcave. Um, but yeah, so... You can see that, and then the stitches, you can see it's painted on. They have the individual stitches. They have all that stuff. But, like, you see how it's, like, damaged here with the skin underneath. It just doesn't look um, as real as um, as the, uh, the J&D. Um, now, granted, it also has a base that lights up. But there was one thing about this piece I hated. I do not like the cat. I think the cat is just stupid. This cat looks dumb. It doesn't have glass eyes. They're painted. Um, and the other one looks more real. The cat does. I also don't really care too much about the, the name plate. I can skip that. But that's where the batteries are for the light-up piece. And then the light-up piece, I think, is on this side. I don't know. For the hello there. Um, yeah, like right there. Um, so you push the button and see it lights up like that. It says hell here. Anyway, um, I don't really care too much about all of that stuff. Um, but... Her breasts. Now, this is the thing that the reason why I didn't um, I didn't buy this piece is because her boobs are massive, and uh, when you look at the, the the her proportions in the film, and then you go in and you look at the breasts on the statue. Now, look, these statues are all mostly made by nerdy ass men, and they're also purchased by by men that are like you know. Why would you complain about a, you know, a character having uh, big boobs? You know, like that's something that they would say. And I got that pushback when I made comments about this piece a year ago. People were like, why would anybody complain about big tits? Oh my god! But the reason why um, I complain is because her character in this in this um, film is, I mean, she has a full, ment she gets murdered by her boss because she finds that information, you know, and she hates men. She has, like, all that stuff where she's trying to fall in love and men are just, like, using her and, like, treating her like shit. And her character is a full-blown I hate men character. Like, that's what she is. Um, and so when you make her breasts bigger in this because you think it's hot, that's literally against the character. That is what the character... Um, would be pissed that this she would punch her in the throat for doing that you know or like scratch her across the face with her giant claws so i found it like kind of, look at the size of these boobs michelle pfeiffer's boobs never were never that big in the film you know the corset's also laced wrong um people have pictures but, but, but come on michelle pfeiffer's boobs do not look like that at all and it's like people i brought it up and then people were like well sure okay they're a little bit bigger i'm like a little bit bigger like, these are like a C cup, like a full, full C. And Michelle Pfeiffer's boobs in the movie, I mean, she was starving thin to get into that cat suit and to crush. I think she said she had a 23-inch waist to get into that corset. And um, so she was, like, thin. She barely even had an ass. And her boobs were tiny. They're, like, my size, except on her body. <laughs> not my big-ass body. Um, so, so, yeah, I do not like... Uh, shit, sorry. I don't like when they take, um, what is it, uh, what do they say when you take, um, what's the word? Liberties. Taking liberties with breast size. On a character that hates men womanizing her. You know? See what I'm saying? And this face, yeah. It's great. Like, it's got the details, the eyes, the eye color is beautiful, the lips are pretty. But it's not like that other piece. That other piece is out of control, realistic. The makeup is also not very accurate on this piece. Um, her eyebrows had a more red tint to them on the ends. These aren't red. The eyeshadow is actually, um, it's like a, um, like red, pinky red. And it's almost like this inside of the eye. It's pinky red. And then you have um, the shadow over it. Um, and the pink goes all the way up to the brow almost. And I, I mean, if you look at this, and it still looks phenomenal. I mean, this is a phenomenal statue. Um, it's incredible. The detail, it does look like Michelle Pfeiffer. Um, but all I'm saying is, yeah, the hyper feminine, but all I'm saying, and then there's another one. So this one they broke down uh, where 
so this was the way it's supposed to look. This was the original, um, you know, the production one. And then the one we were just looking at was the one they actually came out with. Um, but like, this is another version. See that hair? They have a swap out head with this hair. I do not like sculpted hair and I don't like real hair. I just think it's bad. Um, but that face in comparison, like her eyes, it's pretty close. And all of these statues are $2,000, except for the last ones. Yeah, this is the other one that has cats around it. So, um, why do I hear someone talking? <laughs> so yeah, you can switch out the head and I just don't like this piece. Yeah. I like the whip, but it's also stylized. It's not heavy. It doesn't have a weight to it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That face on the right, nah, that ain't, ain't going to do it. Not in comparison to this crazy shit. Where is she at? Where is our cat woman at? I mean, this is like. You cannot compare that face and, yeah, I'm sorry. You cannot look at that and compare it to those other statues. Like, that shit's crazy. That shit's crazy. Like, I had no idea we were here with statues already. Like, we could make statues look that real. Yeah, like, that. that's some crazy shit. That's some crazy shit right there. Hey, what's up, OG? I mean, that face is insane. They have better close-up images of it, too, where they really get in there with uh, the HD. Let's see if we can pull it up. Where is it at? I know it's in here. It's right in the beginning. I think this is it. Maybe it's closer to the end. Oh, yeah. I mean, it is weird when they put the eyeball in. Like, that stuff's so weird. Yeah, like, that's weird. But, like, the, the yeah, here it is. Like, looking at that, that's crazy. It's got real hair for the eyelashes. It's got, um, and their sculpts, like, their production one that they, that they show here um, is actually exactly what they end up looking like. And there's another thing that's cool with the silicone faces that's, um, yeah, that's everything about this is incredible. Uh, you can't replicate it. So there's in China these companies these that make these statues, like the actual production, they can't replicate these because of the silicone. So the silicone itself is so expensive, and they can't rip it off. It's like um, they can't um, uh, cast it and replicate it. Whereas like the other ones that are solid. All I have to do is repaint them. Now, the paint never really looks that good, but you could, like a lot of collectors, they get fooled and they get tricked into, um, into buying fake statues. So, and that sucks. You can't do it with these. Yeah, look at that shit. That shit's crazy. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying my little like moment with Catwoman here, but like this, this statue is just out of control. Out of control. nuts i don't care about this piece but i like this i like this dude at the end he's just so excited to just be on the, the video camera i wanted to be catwoman i wanted to be her yeah like these angles are just wild yeah anyway um yeah so i am gonna go back to elden ring now Okay. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> Wasn't that so much fun? Where's my Steam? Oh, yeah, no rest for the wicked. All right, we'll just play some Elden Ring now. Oh, it's not running, is it? Evidently. Uh, it's running. I don't know where it's running, but evidently it's supposed to be running. I thought I closed it. <laughs> I am not the Catwoman, trust me. Oh, well, I mean, I have EG, yeah. How many hours have I played? 364 hours. And don't forget, 50 of those hours they stole from us. Stole. EG's good. He's a baby kitty. He's just a little baby kitty, and I love him. He's so cute. Uh, let's pull up. Look, don't even get me started. The problem is he's in the other room, and he's going to get sad because he can't be in here. I got a picture of him stretching this morning and yawning. Look at that. He's like in the middle of like a stretch and a yawn on his little cat tree. I love him so much. I love that kitty. I love that kitty. He cuddles with me every night. 
I wake up in the middle of the night and he's just all in the side, like all in my side. I love him. He's also very smart. He knows what pisses me off and he'll do it just so he can get fed. <laughs> he's like, you're going to feed me like right now. Like right now. I just think he's so perfect. He's just so cute. Just so cute. Silly little monkey. Mm, it's too much. Too much. This picture is definitely my favorite of him that I've ever gotten. He looks so majestic. That one. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's get moving. And box gone because I spoke to him. That's right. <sighs> we pray for supper. We pray for fun. Alright, let's head up to that day. Buddies. Look how beautiful that looks. Stunning. He is a little king. He's a king, baby kitty. Love that baby kitty. Love that baby kitty. <laughs> I do. I love him so much. He's a stupid baby. He's just a best friend. Him and the dog. I, I mean, I love them. Oh, God. Let me see. slime molds. These guys die pretty easily, actually. But they died of flame. Yeah, they died of flame. Nice. Oh, it's behind me. <laughs> Slime mold. I got it, I got it. I don't need any recommendations. Look how little damage it does. Oh, shit. Little damage it does with... Fire just kills the shit out of it. Yeah, one of my clients that I have, um, who's the very wealthy one. Oh, shit. Um. Oh, shit. Um, 
he offered me a building to work out of. But I'm not gonna allow him to do it. Because I'm wanting to kind of go off on my own and do a... Um, Um, go off on my own and do my own thing, you know? Um, and so, um, yeah, let's get jumping. Hey, Mr. Penguin Man. Anyway, so, um, Time to jump. So he offered me a, a building to work out of. That I could do whatever I wanted, you know? And the thing is, I I, I don't want to... I want to be in charge of myself. Does that make sense? I want to be in charge of myself. I want to have my own uh, place, my renting my own space and working out of it. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. And, um, yeah. Excuse me. So, yeah, but. Yeah, this guy's got buildings and all sorts of stuff that. Yeah, I don't want to, like, have someone over me. I do their hair, he pays me very well. That's all I need, you know? That's all I need. Ah, it's you. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Hmm, I have no money. Seems I'm broke. Goodbye. Seems I'm broke as shit. Oh, talk to Milena. This tiny golden aura is the grace of the Erd Tree. This light once shone in the eyes of your tarnished brethren, but now it is all that guides you. Or so I hear. You can see them, can't you? The rays of grace that guide you through your burden. Cool. Keep going. Upon the cliff in Castle Stormvale is a shard bearer, a demigod. Who inherited a fragment of the shattered Elden Ring? The grafters. The rays of grace signal the castle. Then the Elden Ring beckons you. Uh -oh. As an ally by pact, I pray that you are fit to face the challenge presented by the ring. Cool. Can I level up? Shall I turn? Let my hand share them with me. I have not. I have not enough funds, lady. Um. So, no, I would, like, look, usually I would, but I actually have a decent savings account right now. Um, what are we doing? What are we doing? Um, we'll get to God, oh no, we haven't got God, we can go to Stormvale Castle and get, um, <clears throat> Bossy Boy, or we can go back that direction and start clearing that stuff out. I think we should do that. We're doing everything, pretty much, and, until the expansion comes out. But yeah, I uh, I usually would, but the thing is, like, he's a good client, but he's also conservative. I don't think he knows I'm trans. Um, his girlfriend told me he doesn't know, and I don't know what, what he would do if he found out. I think he just thinks I'm butch. A lot of people don't know that what trans people are. They think it's like Bob the Builder, you know, wearing a skirt. So, um, so they just don't know. He just thinks I'm a lesbian <laughs> or butchy, butch-like with tattoos. Anyway, but, um, um, oh, stupid eagle, <clears throat> bitch, take your feathers from me. We're not going to aggravate the dragon just yet. Um, so yeah, he, um, I don't want him hanging over me because I don't know what he would do if, um, if I, if he found that out, he would fire me or just kick me out in the street. You know, see what I'm saying? So they love their hair. But they also, you know, they're conservative and they you just don't know what people would do. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, um... Hmm. 
Kill some bats. So yeah, I don't take opportunities like that, you know. I don't know what would happen. In the butt. What what? In the butt. Where's my... I wish the, my tracking would be better. Anyway, um... Oh, what she's texting so much about. Um, but yeah, so... I uh, just kind of feel like, um... I've been underneath someone for a long time in my life, and I'd like to be on boss for a while. What what in the butt? He said what what in the butt? Yeah, but I'll keep him as a client. I mean, you know, he's my client. He's gonna remain my client as far as I'm concerned. But it's just it's just one of those things where I feel that in my lifetime right now, in my life right now, I need to focus on myself. I need to get clear in my head and figure out where I'm at. Because um, I've been really going through it the past mo few months. It's been really bad. Uh, let's see. There's something over here. Oh, there it is. I thought it was over here, that item. She will not stop texting. Yeah, so, um, so the thing is, like, I need to do something. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. It's a straight up, like, my 40s have turned into a straight up mid midlife crisis. Like, for real. Come on, batshit. Come on, bitch. I can see you. Come on, peach. Let's go. How did that miss him? So, yeah, I need to do my own thing and just figure out what I'm doing with my whole life. Because honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. No idea. I think the economy is getting really bad right now. I think all of that's going to be really, really, really bad as time goes on. Go skydiving. I could. I don't know. I'm tired. I'm too tired to go skydiving. Ah, oh, this spear sucks. Give me a better spear. Right in the neck. Stupid bitch. I'm not sure if I want to take on three at one time. 
I'm just a baby. I have no money. I'm just a baby. <laughs> you see, that's the thing, WP. I'm not going to have someone pull the rug out of me. It's my one anxiety. It causes me deep, deep anxiety because I work with people that um, were very supportive of me when I was like ultra feminine and I was very like... Um, I fit the aesthetic that they liked, and I've simply changed in the past like three years, and I just don't think they like it. I think everyone's changing. I mean, um, I like him. This guy's cool. Ah, you must be the new tarnished. You do well to steer clear of a gill like fledgling. Dragon roosts there, and it's as fearsome as it is majestic. So, unless you're mad, I wish to be burned alive. Stay clear of the lake. Don't. Yeah, so it's, um, I don't, I've always had the fear of the rug being pulled out from under me and my whole life being trans, being just a stylist, just a hairstylist and not making like lots and lots of money. So I've always had that fear. Oh yeah, this shit's fun. Um, I don't want to have that fear anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm finished having that fear. This is so much fun. Everybody dead, bitch! Everybody dead! And that's the thing is things are getting worse for trans people now than they ever have. And, um, you know, and me having a job is a big deal. Like being a trans woman that has a good job and is able to live on her own and look after herself. That is huge in this world. I've always had that ability. Uh, well, for a while. Um, and that's, that's the thing is that that might go away. I'm very good at what I do though. I will say like doing hair, there's definitely like, uh, I surprise myself with how focused I am on, um, hair and whatnot, and how um, detail-oriented I am. Hey, we made it. My ghoulish man. So yeah, it sucks, and it's getting way worse for us right now. I've never seen it. In, like, I've been transitioning for how long now? 2008? And um, I've never seen it quite like this. It's bad. It's not healthy. Yeah, I can't do this. It's too heavy. Too heavy. I'm just a baby. Yeah, so, um... We'll find out. If I could rent a space of my own, I'd probably really appreciate it. Hey, look at, look at these random guys just here. Down. I'm not seeking down. Oh, yeah. What's down there? Oh, God. That looks bad.
I think this guy's gonna be too hard for me. Yeah, he's like, I don't even know if I've been here before. Yeah, those guys are really difficult. That guy's like hard. I wonder what he's doing here. Big crab, big crab. Evening required ahead and then gorgeous view. Giant crab, killer crab. These guys are the gravitational. Uh, oh yeah, he'll kick my ass. I don't think I can get him. Well, what else is back here? Wow, it's fun when you get to find new areas in Elden Ring that you... Well, maybe I just haven't played it in so long, I don't know. Thanks, Joe, I appreciate you. Oh, look, a tunnel. A tunnel! Talisman. Alright, well, let's go check it out, shall we? This doesn't look very inviting, does it? Oh, it's right there. Weird. Hell yeah! Boosts holy damage negation. Oh. Well, it doesn't boost da uh, holy damage, it boosts the negation. Right? Talisman depicting a golden ancient dragon boosts holy damage negation. The ancient dragons who rule the prehistoric era before the earth tree would protect their lord as well as uh, as a wall of living rock. So it's that the shape of the dragon has become symbolic. Hmm. I wish it would increase my damage. This is cool. This is actually right in the beginning. Hm. Yeah, but it's scary for us trans people right now. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I don't want to fight this guy. He's like... They're pretty tough, these guys. We will steal the, the butterflies, though. Too high of a level for me right now. Bye, buddy. Sorry. See ya. See ya, pal. Meow. Boop. I wonder if I can level up. What I should do is actually put a row of fruit down here. For me. I'll replace that. Strange. Why can't I put the rubber fruit in here? I know I have it. I've been collecting all sorts of rubber fruit. Why can't I put it in there? Crazy. Oh, I don't think you can. You, that's not for him. I don't know what that is. Something's messy. I'm yours now. I got the peanut butter and panties on. Oh, I can talk to the milliner. Me. I'm searching for my purpose, given to me by my mother inside the earth tree, long ago, for the reason that I yet live, burned and bodiless. There is something for which I must apologize. I've acted the finger maiden, yet can offer no guidance. I am no maiden. My purpose was long ago lost. Shall I turn? Let my hand share them with me. 
your thoughts. You're a God, I still can't level up. The fuck. Is that enough now? Shit. No Chick fil A sauce? Oh, I can do it now. No, I don't want that. I want faith. Faith. Oh, look, it's turning into evening. And that's so pretty. That's so pretty. I wonder if there's anything else back there, like further down the beach. Makes me wonder. I got the peanut butter and panties on you. <laughs> Trans people are funny. What girl? Alright, should we go down here? Uh, this looks lovely, doesn't it? Should I ambush these bastards right here? Yeah, we should ambush them for sure. Hey, you pricks. Oh, you guys think you're so tough. Let's go, baby. I shouldn't have taken that much damage. That was a lot of damage for a stupid rookie mistake. Look how pretty it is around here. Hmm. We. Oh, that was a large drop. It was an ambush. These little fuck faces are smart. Not that smart. Oh, shit. Nice little ambush, bitches. Hey, is that the back door or the front door? Which one's making me lose this? Yeah, I'm super excited about the, yeah, it's definitely a kitten. Maybe a little kitten pass by. Yeah, this kitty cat wants his food. Ah! Now there's a dude there. Well, the thing, yeah, it's gonna live up. I mean, come on now. Come on now, come on. From software has not failed me yet. Whoa, that was sick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got some crab eggs. I got some of those from a man once in the back seat of a car. <laughs> Just kidding. Not that kind of transformer. I'm the classy kind. <laughs> I'm kidding. Shit. Huh? Who said what? Lisa's 30 and she's hot. And she's got curly hair too. My favorite is like how uh, Missy, the ages change constantly. Constantly. Like they fluctuate like waves on the shoreline. Just throwing numbers left and right. Yes. <laughs> Look, I don't care what you are. People could be whatever they want to do. If you want to roll around in panties and smother yourself in peanut butter, you know? But I love, like, making fun of my own kind. I think it's so important to laugh at yourself. You have to. 
Like there was a meme that I was going on and on about for a while and it was like, um, why is it whenever we have a ghost in our house, it's always like, you know, the fortune teller that died here decades ago. Um, instead of like, you know, the clocky trans woman from 2007 yelling about how it's ma'am and GameStop. <laughs> You're like sitting there and it's like the ghost in the other room's like, it's ma'am. Like, never mind, it's just that clocky trans woman in the other room. <laughs> so funny. But the thing is, if you laugh at yourself, you disarm the enemy. That's all I'm saying. They can't laugh at you if you can laugh at yourself first. You know? Hi, Mr. Pigeons. Well, equals. Gotta laugh at yourself. Or you'll go crazy. You go crazy. That's a big pig. Time to make some bacon. Bam! Oh, gold tinged excrement. You gotta laugh at yourself, people. If you don't laugh at yourself, you'll take it too seriously. And then they'll hurt your feelings and hurt you, and it'll just be a freaking disaster. It's no good. Hey, Mr. Owl. <laughs> Fuck you. Got a squabbler egg. Squabbler egg. My tattoo artist came back with my um, tattoo I'm getting on Monday. Came back with this. Oh, ambush! Uh, you wanna attack me, pal? Oh, you're blind. I see. And a fool. Blind and a fool. Ruins. Oh, I see. There's a little pathway down there. Very interesting. Can I jump down over there? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. We'd have to travel across to the other side. Yeah, my tattoo artist gave me back the design that he's been working on for my new tattoo that I get on Monday. I'm pretty excited. Well, oh, look, St. Trina. This is all from Mikola, right? Yeah, Trina. St. Trina's Lily. So, Mikola, who's going to be the main, you know, character of the next one, the, the main um, storyline character in um, Shadow of the Earth Tree. He's the one that Mo kidnapped and drenched in blood in an egg. Anyway, so he, um, St. Trina is his alter personality. It's his female personality. Uh-huh. It's his alter female. Very positive, very beautiful, all that. Oh, back to my tattoo. So on my arm, because, you know, we have this one right here, which I wish I could show it on camera. Anyway, but, so we're doing the back of the arm from, like, thick here. Uh, from thick to thin, and um, the movie Watership Down uh, from the seventies, the rabbits, um, had a really big impact impact on on me as a child, um, and it's going to be one of the sadder scenes uh, where uh, the rabbit, I think it was Silver, yeah, Silver, um, Silver comes back. Oh. Where did you come from, dude? Good show. Good jazz. So, um, Silver goes and, um, he stays at the Warren and they all end up dying, if you guys are familiar with Watership Down. And, uh, they all get trapped in tunnels because humans are developing, uh, land projects there, like construction. And they throw down rocks and gas the tunnels to kill all the rabbits that are, uh, down there. And there's an image of all the rabbits crammed into a tunnel that's really tight. And they're all trying to get out, and they're basically just dying and scratching each other. It's pretty horrible. Um, but we're getting that tattooed on my arm. Um, 
all crabs are so, so thick to thin. So we're like a lot of the rabbits are here and there's like all the way to like one over here and they're crammed in there and they're suffering greatly. It's a pretty sad tattoo. Um, and that's the only thing that's putting me off is that it is kind of like a brutal tattoo. Um, but it is very important, you know, it represents a lot of different things, you know. Um, so, but I am going to do a more beautiful um, uh, Watership Down tattoo, which will be based on, um, you know, Kiha, the bird, and also uh, Hazel when he dies. Because when my brother died, he actually had the original book that was given to him by my parents on him, and I have that book. Have that book on me now. So um, I would like something more beautiful because it is sad, the one I'm getting. But um, but yeah. So more of these fools. These guys are everywhere. Demi human. Demi humans. Time to die. I'm pretty good at sneaking around, aren't I? Why do these guys never see me? Are they just like blind? Big buoy. Very nice, very nice. Very nice of them. Clean. These messages. Something incredible. Large club. Cool. Don't go cover yourself in some peanut butter, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Such a bad girl. <laughs> I don't know why I can make fun of my own kind like that. There was a meme about, uh, I think I showed it to you guys the other day, and someone said, um, you know, femboys that don't take estrogen, you know, they basically just deteriorate um, until, like, they just disappear, essentially. Um, but uh, someone said, femboys who don't take estrogen, um, um, go from fanboy to crossdresser seeking TS. <laughs> like, pretty fast. Crossdresser seeking TS. Dom mommy. God. Every time I get on one of these dating apps, the, all I get is just, just stuff I don't want. All I get. I got on one and all I get is like ass pictures of men in panties. And I'm like, oh my God. Like, what do I look like? Seriously, they look at me and they're like, oh, she'll understand. She's gonna understand me, oh my god. Yes, I'm kink-shaming them. <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact. She'll understand what I'm into. <laughs> yum, yum. Ooh, 
WP's getting in on it. W. I'm gonna get burned, bitch. Oh, a tabard. That's what they sound like. <sighs> Friendly local crossdresser. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Let's go get that. Wow. Just wandering the lands between. We don't even know who Lisa is, you see. We don't know who that is. None of us know who Lisa is. We've never met Lisa before. You always talk about her, and we don't even know who that is. Hmm. This looks suspicious. Mm, this dude. Huh, we're all the way back here again. This is exciting. I know where I want to go now. Is that Kale? Yeah, that's Kale. I know where I want to go now. Who did you meet? You met Lisa? Who's Lisa? <laughs> I don't know who Lisa is. I feel like an idiot. Other people know who I thought Lisa didn't exist. Okay, so that's that one. I think this one's completed, right? Do we not complete that one? There's two caves, right? Did I complete? I feel like I did complete this one. I did. And I completed this one. Did I finish this one? Did I? No. Am I going crazy? There's one right up here. There's two. There's this one over here, and then there's another one down here. I don't think I did this one up here. Sorry. Oh, never mind. He's like, bitch, I'm out. Really? Wow. I guess I'm left out of the loop. Maybe it's because I talk shit. <laughs> Damn. Maybe it's because I say questionable things. Look. The United States has completely collapsed as a civilized country, so I'm not 100% sure why we're pretending to be civilized. Okay. I don't. Oh, yeah, I haven't been here. Okay, let's do it. This is the one I haven't been to. Cool. Awesome. doesn't it? Oh yeah, this is with the wolves. I remember this. Mm. Oh yeah, there's some big wolves down here. Some big ass wolves. Okay, let's go for 
difference. Wow, I had no idea. Hm. I thought Lisa was uh, was uh, not real. I thought Lisa was a figment of Missy's imagination. Wow, I had no idea. Oh yeah, there's a wolf down here. That's right. All right, we're gonna go for it. Nice, huh? Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Guess I'm out of the loop. Oh yeah, there's someone there. There's just another one over there. do is we'll just pick up all this shit here and then we'll go from there I found a crack pot <laughs> yes I sure did hi buddy all right what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back up here now that we got the crack pot and all that bullshit, we're gonna um, revive all our healing potions and all of our stuff. Yeah. <sighs> and we'll go from there. We'll sneak around all these assholes, because I don't want to fight all these wolves. I don't want to waste all my healing potions, because I know there's a boss in here. And what are my... Boss fight. Boss fight. I like a little bit of cave moss. No god ahead. There was a there is something this dude fears. I just don't know what it is. It's a crack pot. Fire! It's fire. God, I played this game way too much. Maybe I haven't. Done. Fire negation. Crack pipe. See you guys. What do I hear? I swear I hear someone breathing. There's something over here, isn't there? Isn't there a chest or something in this room? I thought there was a chest. Praise the bird. Yeah, I played this game too much. I knew every one of his moves. For a minute there, I was just like, Duh. Oh god, we have, oh, she just keeps saying that. One was hitting and married man at the bar when I paid. Okay, the house of I love what I was gonna say. Oh my god.
Girl. <laughs> People wild. Tell her to come over here, Joe. Well, wow, Joe, aren't you all over the place? Just looking at me over there. I see Mr. Boar. Has Lisa ever come into my chat or in my live stream or anything? I don't remember her. That's a big old piggy. He looks quite happy, isn't he? I won't kill him. We'll leave him alone. Hey, Mr. Deer. Alright, let's get moving. I'll be honest with you guys, do I look, and just be like honest with me, <laughs> uh, be honest with me across the board. Do I seem like unhealthy? Like, do I look like I've gotten like unhealthier or do you think I look like I've been depressed? Um, do I look, you know, unwell? I don't know how to describe it. Cause I'm, I feel like the past like five months I've really been like going through a lot. I just don't know if I'm starting to really look at, you know? We can't have that. <laughs> we can we could be having going through hell as long as we don't look like it. Isn't that right, ladies? No, I'm kidding. It's like as long as you look good, right? Fuck. I just don't want people to know that I'm like like, do I look like I've been depressed? Really? You can tell. Thanks, Joe. I like your honesty. How so? How so do I come off like... I'm curious. I'm just curious. I'm going to be honest. I won't take it personally. I'm just curious about it. I don't look it. I, do I sound it? Bye, bitch. Right out of the bushes. Oh, there's another one right there. Oh. Take your bones. Oh, so I don't look unwell? Well, that's fine. <laughs> that makes me happier. Because I feel like I look like shit. I feel like I've looked like shit for a while now. Like, I feel like I look like I'm depressed. You know? That's never fun. All right. Oh yeah, there's this little village over here, that's right. Missy, I don't care what you have to say. <laughs> I don't take your words seriously, girl. Uh, is it because I'm more negative? Am I more bitter? More jaded? More pissy? I feel like I've always been that way, though, right? Haven't I always been that way? Ah, this looks like fun. Yeah, haven't I always been a bitter bitch? Is it just beyond bitter now? Is it on another level of bitter now? Oh, he looks like a cunt, doesn't he? Oh. But I can summon some people. We pray for summer. We pray for fall. Fat Peach. 
mean? Tough. Oh shit, there's more of them. Yeah, we may have to skip this part. Excuse me. There's so many of them. Seems to work quite well, of course. Ooh, I guess. I like that guy's just standing there looking at me. He's like, what are you doing? Killing all your friends. <sighs> so I'm gonna read what you're saying. Definitely better. Wow. Thanks, Joe. Bitter. I've gone through a lot. WB, you had nothing to say about it. <laughs> she was like, yeah, that sums it up. Bitter ass bitch. Alright, what do we got going on here? Alright, let's do some, some clearing. I'd love a faith weapon, to be honest. Oh, there you are. You became in. I think it's hard to tell because you're sometimes playing in range inducing soul game. I'm not that bad. I've only died once. And it was like the other day. I haven't died today, which is a big deal. I wouldn't kill these guys if I didn't have to, by the way. The reason why is because you use thin beast bones to make um, arrows. Fuck, well, as I just spoke about dying. Shit, hey, at least I got the scarab. Hey, at least I'm right here, too. Joe, please. Come on, Joe. What do you know, Joe? You did it. You, 
you did your energy into the universe, and now I'm suffering because of your words. So if I have my, um, my, um, own salon one day, I'm going to, instead of doing, like, good vibes only on the wall, I'm gonna do, like, uh, toxic vibes only, please. <laughs> or something in slime just pouring down the wall. Toxic vibes only. <laughs> uh, look where we are. Oh. That's nice. That's nice, yeah. Very cool. Toxic vibes only. Black dripping paint. That's what I got. I got a cookbook. Bone arrow. Fire grease. Oh, that's why. how I'm able to make the fire that I'm making. Toxic vibes only. Thank you very much. Mario Kart. I've definitely gotten very goth <laughs> as I've got gotten older. Just for real. Bitter goth bitch. I'm proud of that. Yeah. Something I like about that. Alright, so let's have a good little look around. We've been to the island over here. I don't really feel like attacking the dragon just yet. We could. It would take forever to beat him, but I would like to, um, we can go to Stormgate, if you, if you guys want. We can go to Stormgate. We can also clear this tunnel, which is always a good one. Yeah, let's do that. It's gonna activate the dragon going down that tunnel, though. I do think we need to level up a little bit more before we go. We can come back here. We'll go to the gate front. Why not? Green paint likes that. No, I want it black. It's gotta be black. Black ooze. This is always a fun little thing to do in the game. This is where we have fun. Let's go! The giant up top. Lump of human flesh. Look at him. It's like I'm coming to get you, bitch. Huh. He didn't. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Hi, assholes. I thought I was out of the way. Godric is a scam. He's not a demigod at all. Just like negative vibes only. Some bullshit like that. Come on, you fool. Fun. Yeah, I'll get through this nonsense. I will. It'll take time. It takes time. It takes effort. It'll take, uh, you know, a good bit of work to pull myself out of it. It's been... It's been tough. I don't know why. I should really get over it. My house is really cute, though. I've definitely made my house, like, super cute. Like, it's clean, it's tidy. This new room looks great, doesn't it? Um, I bought new statues. There's a lot of positive things in my life. Other stuff. How does he even see me? Whoa, where did that guy go? Oh, there's two of them. Oh, you fuckface. You 
know what's about one of my favorite things to do? Is to get on the horse and lure the big boy over here and let him crush all of them. Like this. Because he chases everyone. He's fine. It's fun. It's not fun anymore. He's a son of a bitch. Hey, Mr. Sheeps. Good luck carrying them, because they're 70 pounds apiece. They're huge. Oh, God. They're 70 pounds apiece. They're huge. But I do have multiple statues on order. Look at me. I'm like, oh, my God. Capitalism. <laughs> I talk so much shit about capitalism, but I'm like, I'm going to buy that Catwoman statue spot. Uh, look, what else are we going to fucking do, man? Seriously, the world's coming to an end. All the restaurants are like closing in my area. It's like really rough. Oh, stupid puppy. Uh, I hear it. Where is it? Okay, I see that little thing there, but I hear the ball. Here, where is it? Mm, let's kill the wolf. Um, they're also magnetic. Those statues are magnetic. So I have the species statue, which is on pre-order. Uh, that's like expensive. That was like fourteen. No, I think I spent like twelve ninety nine on it. That's still a lot. Uh, no, no, it was more than that. It was more than that. It usually goes for fifteen hundred. I think I got it from thirteen ninety nine. Yeah, because I pre-ordered it early and they give you ten percent off. Um, could have been twelve ninety nine. I don't know, somewhere around there. It's expensive. And the species one third statue is really cool because I I feel like that's an iconic movie that doesn't get talked about enough. It was big in the nineties. Another childhood um, um, inspiration. Um, and then the other one is, uh, the Catwoman, but I also have the Bloodborne statue, which it's the, uh, the Bloodborne, um, uh, oh my god, the doll. So I have the doll, and I paid that off. That, that'll be shipping. I'll probably get a notification for that in the next couple of months for shipping. Um, and that, I'm gonna do a review of all of these in this room. That's my plan. I've gotta get some good ring lights and shine it on this table behind me and we'll start doing um, reviews of statues. I also have the alien egg that I ordered from Prime One because they're really hard to get uh, and they're only like 350 bucks and it's quite large. It's a half scale of the one from the first film and Aliens, the second film. Uh, I sculpted the Alien 3 eggs um, but they are smaller. The Alien 3 eggs are sub substantially smaller from the model size because I sculpted them based on the life size cast. Um, but these are actually kind of large. It's probably like that big open egg with a face hugger in it. So we'll do a, a, a review of all of these whenever I get them. We'll set up the room, we'll do lighting and everything, and we'll do a full like review. Yeah, uh, yeah. so I'm gonna start doing statue reviews. I think that's kind of cool. All right, it's definitely down here somewhere. I can hear it. Where? Aha. Uh -huh. Sin. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, this area was fun. This one's hard, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna kill the wolves first. Yeah, well, there's one on the wall behind me. It's like it's right there. You can't really see it. It's like on that. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I have um, quite a few alien statues. I thought about re-reviewing some of my older pieces that are like the, the grails, like the big chap statue was awesome. I thought about re-reviewing the, um, what is it, the, um, the dog alien? I call it the ox alien, but no one ever knows what that means because they never watch the special edition. Yeah, so, um, yeah, nothing else down there. Oh, puppy. Die, bitch. Frozen raisins. Yeah, so I'd, I'll review them. They're all so expensive. I mean, those, those stuff's expensive. That Catwoman is $2,000. I'm gonna order them like shit. Be wary of soldier. Which one? Look at me kicking ass. Fun. You're all so old. <laughs> These are always so weird, and they don't attack you. You can kill them, but they don't attack you. It's always just so strange to me. Oh. Yes. Sorry, buddy. I know you trusted me, but I need your bones. To butter my bread. Golden seed. Let's go get Rodrigo. Where are the wolves? The wolves should show up soon. I thought you were 27. <laughs> I'm 40 this year. <laughs> and so, oh. <laughs> Why does it happen to me? What did I do? Oh, look at that. Wonderful, wonderful. Ah, uh, it's a part of the process. We can do about it. I'm getting a little hungry. I have I have lamb chops and um, I love Rodrigo. Rodrigo makes me happy. Everyone's been grafted. Everyone who came with me, they crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. For me. <laughs> Only to have their arms taken. Their legs taken, even their heads <laughs> taken. 
taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know, if you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid? You. It's quite a lark when you think about it. Quite a lark. Mm. You're all on your own, are you? And heading to Stormvale Castle. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. Oh, you've come to be one with the spider? Well, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off. Or legs. Or your head. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I'm just nothing just but a craven. Scared. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I know. Can you take this little one along with you? A little, a little cutie patootie. The poor thing deserves someone braver than myself. And the spirits look rather fondly upon you. It'll be glad of your company, I think, the little one. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, can tell them I love them. And that I'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know? The dildo of consequences rarely arrives lubed. Oh, oh, sweet. Hang on, we're gonna watch this. God, the soundtrack's so good. The Omen soundtrack, the first Omen soundtrack is so good. God, it's so good. The first Omen soundtrack is outstanding. I wasn't gonna buy it on um, vinyl, but then I was like, fucking buy this shit. I have the first, the original Omen on vinyl, but this this soundtrack by Mark Corvin, oh, gets me going. I've been listening to it day in, day out. I mean, and it's such a weird uh, soundtrack to listen to when you're, um, uh, oh, let's level up. Um, just in general, because it's like straight up like Satan. <laughs> it's like whispering and things. Oh, I'd love to add a charge flask. Yes, I would. Look at that. Um, allocate flasks. Uh, I think we could do that for sure. Confirm. Thanks. Can I level up, please? Please. Oh, I sure can. Let's do some dexterity. Ooh, ooh, isn't that fun? Anyway, I don't know why I got so excited. But yeah, that film, The Last Omen, has just been in my head this whole week. I'm like, oh my god, it's so good. I can't wait to watch it again. What a great director. I almost feel like I want to like reach out and be like, look, I'll do hair on set. I'll do everyone's hair. I can replicate any look they want to do. Come on now. Hire me. Fly me somewhere. I will do the whole hair department. Shit. Shit. I'd be so good at it too. Promise, that'd be amazing. I sure wish I could get a robe. Alright, let's kill these assholes. Two and one, that was sweet. Oh, you guys don't stand a chance. You never did, did you? Freaking me out, Missy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's get in there, shall we? Let's, let's get in there. You know what? I could go over there. 
Yeah, let's go over there. It's probably a mistake, but let's, let's mosey on over. I'm just a little dumpling. Dude, Missy, Missy will not stop messing around. Just text, 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 text. You will answer me. Ah, bats. Yes, I'm here. Hmm. Two and one. Wasn't that sweet? Yeah, your end is coming near, buddy. Your end is nigh. What, what in the butt? What, what in the butt? Smoking a joy. Yeah, I took one too soon this morning. Maybe I should go kill the dragon first. And start that quest line. With the, the bat eyes. The Golden Order! Make the what? Make the what? What did you say? <laughs> Make the clit? <laughs> I can't see what you said. Make the wet lit? What's going on? Uh, nah, I'm good on that. The last exorcism of Emily Rose. There's only one good. You. Please. I can read them. Your fingers. Please, your fingers. Yeah, I didn't like the Pope's Exorcist. They had the, the new Exorcist movie. No. I had one of my clients who canceled for Saturday and um, and she was like, I can only do Saturday, so I need to reschedule it. I was like, girl, what is over there? What? What is this? What is this madness? I don't even know if I've been here before. We're going and now we're screwed. We're stuck. Anyway, um, 
So, there's only one classic. There's only one Exorcist movie, and it's the original 1973. Ah, I see you, fool. Chase this bitch down. Mine. Um. Yeah, I don't really like any other Exorcist movies. They just never really fit, you know. But uh, that original one, classic, classic. Nothing comes close to it. Nothing ever will. It's just, it's like magical. But I will say, I never thought the first Omen, or the original Omen could ever have like a prequel to it that's actually good. Um, I mean, there's just like one thing that's altered that's in it, and it's that, you know, in the original Omen, um, Damien is bur uh, born of a jackal. Um, so he's birthed, his mother is a jackal. His mother is a jackal, and because um, they find the corpse in his mother's, uh, oh yeah, they find a corpse of a jackal in his um, mother's um, coffin at the end of the original Omen movie back in the seventies. But this one, they don't have that. Charge ahead. Wow. Missy, do you live up north as well? I thought you were in LA. Look at all these little creatures. I see the wolves now. Okay. Joe, did you travel to Los Angeles to meet up with Lisa? Curious. Did Lisa come visit you? Look, I can be involved in what's going on. <laughs> I can get engaged in the situation. I put two and two together. I'm still a hairstylist, you know. Lisa lives in Long Beach. More puppies. There's one standing guard. Oh, 
in the dynamics of the, the trans community and the men that go after us. It's always very interesting, isn't it? I don't know. Okay. I see. I see. Hey. Y'all all just mingle together, aren't you? <laughs> I'm not really a content creator. I just get lonely. <laughs> I get lonely and then I just start sitting here telling y'all my deranged uh, thoughts about life and my problems and things like that. Isn't it interesting? I think I've gone too far. I've gone too far. Yeah, I've definitely gone too far. Definitely gone too far. Because this way is the way, I guess we can go through the back of the castle. You know, I never knew that you could go through the back of Stormvale Castle. I had no idea that you could go through. This is actually kind of awesome that you can sneak in through the back section. This is some crazy shit. I had no idea. Oh, weird. I never said there was anything wrong with liking trans women. Just saying. <laughs> this was the image of the, the game. The original screenshot of the game is right there. Lernia Lakes. Impressive, isn't it? The with the uh, tree right there. With the GERD tree. I don't think Lisa's here. Mesa. are burning. From the Shabriri Shir grapes. Take my grapes. They're actually eyeballs. Alicia, 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 Alicia. You know how these trans women work. They spell their names weird, like mine. Mine's spelled real weird. <laughs> no one ever gets mine. Unless they, like, really followed my social media years ago where I posted. But then I became prone to stalkers. Mm. And then I changed it. Look closely, lily flower. Look at that throne. Godric the Golden. I had no idea you can come in from the backside. I 
idea that you could come in from the side. Oh, you can't. That's crazy. So you can come in through the back, but you can't. You can't go for Godric the Golden yet. What's over here? Nothing. Ah, not nothing. Is this the way I came in? This is the way I came in, isn't it? How did I get so turned around? Yeah, this is the way I came in. Yeah, this is the way I came in. No. Very cool. Well, we got the Shabiri Grapes before we even fought anybody. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Look, there's Bach. Huh. Forgive me. I've been testing you to determine if the Elden Ring would truly have you. If you mm -hmm. had the metal to endure this long and arduous oh, that's so many path, it seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start, whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the round table hold, gathering place of tarnished champions, guided by grace. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you. Round table whole time. Oh, I've had so many stalkers in my life. It's insane. Actually, to be honest, I think a lot of people I end up uh, interacting with that I don't like end up being like stalkers. Ah, look who it is. A brother of the cloth. Oh. I see you've just arrived. Welcome to the Round Table Hold. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. I teach incantations, the strength granted us by the two fingers, and explore the secrets of the Golden Order, so that one day, if a tarnished of the Round Table Hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them, ensuring order regains its proper order. form. Order! Writing rule over men. <laughs> By the way, do you still see it? I see the golden the rays. The guidance of grace. Yes, yes, I do. I see. You do? Wonderful news. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. You are something of a rare breed. Oh. Well, what do you say? Care to learn an incantation of the two fingers? Ah, we got fireball too. I think we'll probably... So we got Catch Flame and then Fire Sling. We'll definitely go with Fire Sling. But these are all incantations. Cure Poison, Magic Fortification, Flame Fortification, Heal, Urgent Heal, Rejection. Produces a Shockwave that pushes foes back. That's fun. But I think we're going to go with Fire for now. May the Golden Order shine through you. Oh, I would have to level up my flame things to be able to do that. Ah, ah hello. You must be new here. I'm well, the honor of one's house. By the I'll way, kill she's this my guy. Servant. Take your eyes off, you find her. I want to kill that guy so bad. Greetings. Nice to see you again. Oh, my so name bad. is Roderica. Isn't this place impressed the round table hold? I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us tarnished. Had so though, it's all a bit much for me. And I'm still looking for my own purpose. You're a new face, no matter. Lay out your arms. Let's. Hell yeah. I'd like to strengthen that, but I wonder if he has a spear or something. Ooh, I wanna sell. I wanna sell armor. Can I sell armor to this dude? Fuck yeah. She has a gift. 
for spirit tuning. I saw another one like her long ago. Their eyes share the same hue. Alright, let's go kill some people. Alright, let's go to Stormvale Castle. I can't believe you can skip Stormvale. I had no idea you could do that. That's wild. Stormvale Castle is so good. So good. Should we do Stormvale Castle or should we travel somewhere else? Keep leveling up. I feel like we could go down here. Or even over here. Or we could start working on that dragon. Yeah, speedruns can be fun. Sorry, I'm texting. Okay, um, boop, 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 doo, doo. where were we at again? We were, oh, so pretty. Oh yeah, we're gonna head over there. Yeah, I wanna go to that area, but we can also fight the dragon. Cause I don't, well, Joe says Lisa exists, so I don't think Lisa exists. I think y'all be acting crazy. Making up stories and things. I thought about getting uh, dog tattoos tattooed on me for all the dogs in the Elden Ring games. Excuse me for barking. Oh. 
St. Trina. Akil, Akil. Die, puppy. Jeez. Elven Ring is so good. I don't even think I ever want to play any other company's game. Because, like, every other game I play, I'm like, this just doesn't do it for me, you know? It's like, it just doesn't do it for me. The only games that really do it for me are from software games. One day there will be master. Hi assholes. Do you remember when I first played this game? Day the first night it came out? It was like the very first night. The very first night. And I moseyed on over here because I kept telling myself, no, we don't, we don't do the, um, the bosses or anything like that. We do the side stuff. And I went into this little, this little cave right here and I was like, oh, and there was a chest in that other room. There's a, ch yeah, we're not going to do this, but there's a chest back there in that back room over there. And I opened it up and I transported me. It was a trap, but it transported me to one of the hardest areas in the fucking game. It's awful. And I've been in the game for like five minutes. It was like such a tragedy. I remember it. I'll never forget. Where's that big ass dragon? I remember. You remember that shit? It was awful. Awful. All right. Well. Here we go. Dragon hunting time. Let's see, where's he at? There he is.
Oh shit! <laughs> Look what I ran into. Damn. Where's the big track? There he is. Come on, Akil. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Flame of Akil. God, I played this game too much. I played it so much, I know this dragon's every move. It's crazy. Oh, I have no life. Why would I be mean to Lisa? I think you're Lisa. My favorite was when you did a live stream and you had a had a, uh, yeah, it's in the face, bitch. You had a filter on your face. You couldn't even see what you were playing. I like that. Spears work really well on horses. I guess it's like a tradition. So close. I think my horse would die if he did that. Hi, pal. The dragons in this are so much better than Skyrim. Bye, bitch. And a dragon heart. I don't 
some of these people out. Let's go see here. Did you see how good I did with that fight? Top of the line, bitches. Top of the line. Top of the line there. That dragon didn't hit me once. Stabbed his toe to death. I was like... <laughs> hit him in the head, too. A couple of times. Fuck that dragon. Fuck that dragon. Alright, let's see what this dude has to say. After I killed the dragon. Beautiful work. Felling that dragon. And as such... There's something you might like to know. The heart you brought back. It's used in dragon communion. If you should find yourself overcome by hunger for the heart, yearning for its strength, then seek the decrepit church on the little island off the western coast. Girl, O.J. Simpson dead. <laughs> the fuck? He's done. He's done. You must not forget, though, those who partake in dragon communion will one day shed their humanity, their hunger for dragon, their yearning. Only worsens until the floodgates burst. Burst. Unleashing eternal torment. The strength of a mighty dragon. Magnificent. I've me. seen posts about it, but I haven't played it. I don't play Dragon's Dog much. Ruinous. You must not forget that those who partake in their hunger for drunk until the flood gives strength of a mighty dragon. It's no surprise that dragon communion is ruinous. Ruinous. You must not forget those who partake in their hunger for until the flood. Alright, well, since we've got this, I would like to travel to the dragon communion. Yeah, I'm gonna hop off. Um... Yeah, and I'm gonna go see the baby kitty. He's been crying for me, the baby kitty. God, I love that cat. He's like, why don't you love me, you fucking whore? <laughs> Dragon communion. Ah, yes. Which one do we want? The dragon fire? Oh, these require arcane and faith. 17 faith. Twenty-four faith with a snap. We could do some arcane. I like the the flame idea. We'll save it for now. Yeah, I'm gonna hop off here. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Cool little setup. Um. Yeah, I'll hop off here, everyone. I appreciate all of you. I'm going to go cuddle with the kitty cat and watch some TV. Might even have some food. So um, I'll be back on. I've been trying to make myself play and get more into it. Um, um, being more social, not as sleeping negative. Um, yeah. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed it. I will see you soon. And um, yeah. Good night, everyone.